What is good YouTube? So you guys have been asking for it and it's finally here, my straight hair waves wash method. <laughs> What is good YouTube? So today I'm going to show you guys my straight hair waves wash method but before I do I'm going to tell you guys thank you so much for all the support. I just got home from the gym, I was going to take a shower but I saw my notifications and I was like wait what? And I saw I got to 100 subscribers on YouTube and I want to just thank you guys so much. So usually I wash my hair on Fridays and then on days like today I just like wash it out with water when I'm all sweaty but instead I'm going to wash it with uh, soap and stuff like uh, a wash method so I can show you guys and post it earlier. So. I just took a shower right now, so my do-rag is already slightly wet, but you guys would be doing this under the shower. Um, I'm just going to show you guys here though. So as you can see, my hair is already partly wet, but I got a bowl of hot water right here because uh, the sink is right here and like that's where I have the camera propped up, so just so you guys can see me better, I have a bowl of water. So what I'm going to be using in this video is uh, some Shea Moisture Curl and Shine Shampoo. Some uh, Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Shampoo and some Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Conditioner. So this is a Strengthen and Restore and so is the, um, this one right here. So the next thing that I use is of course a shower brush. So I just have this brush right here. I've had it forever like since I was a kid. Um, this one right here. It's just a scalp scrubber and stuff. I use this to get all the product out of my hair. And then usually I have the water open. So I'm gonna run you guys through the steps as I do them. So as I said before, you usually do this while you're under the shower. So the first thing I do is I open up the water to the hot setting and I just let my hair get all wet. So I'm sweaty already. So this right here is just gonna like let my hair just like fully soak up some water, like get clean, just get that sweat out. And then afterwards we're gonna brush just straight through with the hair and I'm using the scalp scrubber to start trying to get that product out. So here I have in a bowl some warm water and I'm just gonna like be rinsing my hair. So you're just gonna fully soak your head, you're running it under the water. And so typically you're gonna wanna be brushing while you do this. I'm getting my hair wet right here. And I'm just trying to get it to get all fully straight towards the front. Just everything, 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 just so I can get all the product out. So as you can see, my hair is at the front is being a little stubborn. It still wants to, have that shape and puff up you see but with enough water it's just gonna all get super straight all right so now the next step that I do is since typically I'm running my water in here I'm gonna get my shower brush a little bit wet from the bristles so I just got the tips of the bristles wet I'm just gonna brush my hair forward and what this is gonna do this help you get some of that product out of your hair. So typically you guys want to be brushing in like five minute intervals, right? So right now I'm brushing like this. Usually you'd be running your head under water. So I'm just going to keep putting water in my hair like this and on the back as well. I'm just going to get basically what's a full brush session, but you do this underneath your shower, right? So. I'm going to just speed this up until I get like some 5 minutes or whatever washing and then I'm going to show you guys the next thing that I do. Alright you guys, so now it's been about 5 minutes of brushing and usually uh, I'll still have the hot water running and I'll pick up my scalp scrubber and I'll just start going straight through with that and because this is hard, this um... I feel like this could straighten out your hair, so I try to do this for like two minutes and stuff like that. But because it's straightening out your hair, I go in with a different brush. So I have this brush right here. So I just picked this up at Walmart. I saw it because it had this thing right here. When you're in the shower, like uh, it's better to have like a palm, like um, a handle brush, because you can actually grip onto it. But then with this one, I realized I can just put this on, go through, and then this on, and just straight through. So you're doing this all under hot water guys, remember that. So not so hot that it like burns your head because that's gonna give you dandruff, but just some warm water because what you want is for your hairs to open up so you can get everything straight through. Not your hairs, I meant your uh, pores and stuff, sorry. So I'm just gonna go and get probably like another five minutes, three minutes. So yeah, 
I'm just gonna keep running my hair and I'll be winning this brush, so. I hope they thank for they try me, baby. I hope they thank for they try me, Please don't show your face if you ain't lit brown hair. Please don't bring your bitch if you gon' slip brown hair. Brand new chopper. Alright, you guys, so that was basically uh, three minutes with the, the scalp scrubber. Just getting all this product out. So now I go like this. I don't feel any more product sliding out on my hands. Just water. So now underneath warm uh, warm water, you'd want to grab your first shampoo and put that in. So usually first I go in with my um, black castor oil shampoo. So because you want to be doing this under warm water, I'm going to go switch out my water again and like make it hot or I'm going to go get a hot towel and put that on to emulate being underneath the hot water just because this water right here is starting to get room temperature so all right you guys i'm back i got a little uh, hand towel big enough for my head so i'm just gonna do the hot towel method really quick before i put in the shampoo so i don't know why a lot of people tell me that they have uh, trouble with the hot towel method they put the towel in the microwave and stuff i just want to tell you guys you don't have to do all that you just turn on the water from your sink like i'm about to do right now and you just let it go until it turns really hot then you grab your towel, you just run it underneath. So I'm just gonna wait until the water gets really hot. I wait for it to get really hot instead of warm because uh, the water's gonna cool really quick since you're squeezing it out. So I'm waiting for this, it's getting pretty warm right now. I'm just gonna wait till I can start seeing like some steam. Then I'm just gonna run this underneath the water, squeeze everything out, put it over top and put that for like 30 seconds. All right, so now the water is getting hot. I can do it now. So, all right, so I got my towel soaked, and you guys won't be able to see on camera, but there's steam coming out of this. So I'm just gonna squeeze all this, most of this water out. I don't want it super dry. I'm just gonna get this so I can open up my pores on my head really quick so everything can be absorbed by the shampoo. So the hot towel method you usually do for about 30 seconds. I'm gonna move it back now. And yeah, the, the hot towel method is really simple. I don't like some people tell me that they have trouble with it. I just wanted to tell you guys this really quick. But you guys would be doing this underneath the um, shower head anyway, so you guys wouldn't need to do this. But just as future reference, if you guys uh, don't know how to do the hot towel method before you put in product, that's how I do it, and that's a pretty effective way of doing it. So yeah, well I mean, once the towel gets cold, that's basically it for the hot towel method. So I go, I grab my shampoo. I just open it up like this and I pour a good amount onto my hand. So I pour about my palm size and then I just grab my two fingers and I'll separate my hair out into sections. So I grabbed enough like this for the top. I just put that all over the top. I get a little bit like this for the back. And then the rest, I'll just put whatever's there um, on both my hands and just put it for my sides. So then I'll mix the soap into my hands like this and I'll put it in. So typically when I do this, I step out from under the shower head to put the shampoo in and I'll just be getting my hands slightly wet to make uh, suds and stuff like that. So this is how I put in the shampoo. I do this right here and every once in a while I'll just get my hands wet again and put it into my hair so I can create suds. But you want to try to go with your pattern guys, if anything, so you guys can work the shampoo deep in. You can just massage this right here and this will kind of like emulate little wave patterns in your hair instead of going against your hair and making it stand back up. So you guys can do this right here just to sort of like emulate what would normally be like ripples and stuff and this will start creating suds in your hair so I just keep grabbing some water bring that over my hair just trying to create some suds in my hair but don't forget guys you want to avoid going against your pattern for the most part so this right here isn't really hurting me because as you can see I'm just pushing the hair side to side they're still going straight but once the shampoo is thoroughly worked in, you want to grab your shower brush and you want to start just brushing that through. So you want to get a good brush session with the shampoo in your hair. No love, 
Please don't show your face if you ain't lit brown hair. Alright, you guys, as you saw, I did a quick little thing with that shampoo. So now what I do is I go underneath and I just rinse myself out. So, alright, so I'm back. Just finished rinsing my hair and uh, I'm about to put this one in. As you can see, my hair is all straight and wet. So I'm just gonna get this shampoo right here and put that in my hair. But once again, guys, I'm a hot towel method because I'm out of the shower. I can't wet my hair in uh, warm water. Time to put the next shampoo in. So the process is gonna be basically the same as the first time. And as you can see already, you can see that this one foams a lot more than the other one. So I put that in my hair. And this one, I really try to work it into my hair. I just keep doing this. And so I'm just gonna speed up the video because I like to really get this uh, sudded up in my hair. So rinsing off my hands right now. Typically, you wanna do this and just leave this in while you wash the rest of your body. All right, you guys, so I'm back. I'm just gonna get my brush and just start brushing. That's basically all that a shower method is, really. You just apply your product, you brush, but you guys wanted me to show you guys how to do it, so I'm telling you guys everything I do. I'm not doing it under the shower, but this right here, uh, you can imagine I just finished washing my body, right? So I let this dry. Now I'm just grabbing this brush and I'm doing this. So I usually brush for like around five minutes, then I'll run uh, my head under the water like this and just take it out like that and take it out. That way it doesn't all seep out at once when I'm brushing it. But I keep doing this basically and um, yes, I just keep brushing my hair for a little bit. Right here, let's get it. Uh, what you done did, we did it. Uh, what you done thought we finished. Uh, what you done caught it. Alright, you guys, so now I've been brushing. I got um, a bowl of water right here that I've been using. And as you can see, it's all soaked up and everything. So I'm gonna switch that up for some clean water and then I'm gonna rinse this soap out. And I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. Alright, y'all, so I'm just gonna rinse this out. I'm just gonna get some water like this. Just run it through my hair. Try to squeeze out all this product. Grab this right here. You know what? Actually, I got a better idea. Alright, you guys, so I got this bottle right here, spray water, and uh, just gonna be spraying it. I'm just gonna brush it out right here and be rinsing this brush in the clean water. I feel like that's gonna be a little bit more effective than keep going down. Alright, you guys, as you can see, no more water is coming out of my hair. I'm gonna get my conditioner and I'm gonna hot towel method again. So I'll just skip to after I did that. Alright, you guys, so I'm back. Hot towel method done. And there's the last thing right here. So it was a long process, I know. But yeah, so for the conditioner, see, I put it on this end, it just feels weird the other way. I get one squirt, two squirt. And that's it. So grab some, like this. Just put it on the top. So same process guys, nothing has changed. Just different products. So the conditioner, usually you want to put in your hair, brush it through well. And what I do is once I put the conditioner in, I get this right here and I just go through so I can work it down to the bottom. So this should be relatively worked in. I'll just brush that. Yo, I swear these buggies got me focused. I've been on the way now. All this pressure, I'm just trying to hold the weight down. Brand new Jimmy Choo's off of my face, okay? Alright guys, so that's it for the conditioner. I'm just gonna rinse the conditioner out and show you guys how I dry my hair. So, alright guys, so now we're basically at the end. The only thing I would do now is in the shower, turn on the cold water, grab my brush for the last time, rinse it off, and I put the water to like freezing cold. I just put my head in like this with the water coming down, and I'll just brush my hair in the cold water just to end off the the wash. Yeah, shorty, close your legs. I need that neck again. I heard niggas talking shit. Hand me that neck again. Hand me that. All right, guys, that's it for the wash method. And I'm gonna show you guys how I dry my hair. I just get this towel right here. You know, any t any towel. You know, you just put it over your head like this, and then you do what's called a pat dry. So, so this is how you dry your hair. If you got the waves, so you do that. That sucked most of the moisture out of the hair. I got my do-rag right here, and I'm just gonna put this on. So, um, putting the do-rag on, for me, I keep it on for like a good 20 minutes, 30 minutes. 
sometimes an hour. It just depends how long it takes my hair to basically like dry and stuff. While it's still slightly damp, I'm just gonna go in with my brush. Just get a brush session. You would basically be done, like fully done with your wash methods. So I know you guys want help with waves and stuff, so I'm gonna keep doing that. I'm gonna keep helping you guys out. I'm gonna keep on the grind with my waves. I'm gonna keep making videos basically about that. So uh, I just wanted to tell you guys that I'm gonna throw some other stuff in. But for now, I just wanna thank you guys so much for the 100 subscribers, guys. I'm staying on my grind. I'm keep uploading videos. You guys keep suggesting stuff for me because I brought the wash method for you guys. I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope it helped you guys. Now I'm just rambling. So I just wanna say thank you guys so much once again. Stay wavy as always, guys. Too many thoughts on my mind, I can't sleep at night, so I just keep writing. I don't